proclaims world's leading internet TV service bases its business model on subscription rather than on the advertising typical of open televisions. Whether it be public or commercial, it uses data collected from its users not to negotiate with advertisers or media agencies. In order to improve members' retention, reduce cancellation, achieve long-term fidelity and obtain positive satisfaction ratings for their products. Today, Netflix is giving Carl and millions of other members of the world's leading internet TV network a brand new TV viewing experience, one they've always wanted but never had, visually rich, intuitive, and captivating. This new Netflix TV experience brings together everything you've come to love about Netflix, personalized entertainment for kids and adults with smart search and connected to your social network. It's the biggest update in Netflix history and unlike anything you've ever seen on TV before. We'll match you up with TV shows and movies you can fall in love with based on a quick overview, rotating images, what your friends watched, and more. Once you find something to watch, the new Netflix experience gives you a full synopsis, including details about the actors and director. And when selecting an episode, you'll see episode-specific images and overviews. The new Netflix experience is better than ever, and is just one more reason our members spend over a billion hours a month watching internet TV. Ready to give it a try? You can experience the new Netflix through your PlayStation, Xbox 360, Roku 3, and select smart TVs and Blu-ray players with more devices coming soon. Carl loves it, and we think you will too. Netflix is an American provider of on-demand internet streaming media. Once you log in and pay your monthly fee, movies you can select can be watched instantly through your computer or gaming system. Netflix recently revolutionized the way television content is created for audiences. And they did that using analytics. They first started by collecting data. Lots of it. Lots and lots of it. Since they had access to the viewing preferences of all their members, this put Netflix in a great position to predict what kind of people want to watch what in which genre. Netflix's vast analysis led them to the conclusion that David Fincher, the director of The Social Network, was very popular. The British version of The House of Cards, a political television drama from the 90s, had been well received by their existing viewers. And that the viewers of both David Fincher and The British House of Cards also watched films starring Kevin Spacey. Each of these very individual factors had to contain a certain volume of users. Netflix had a lot of users in each category. This weighed in heavily when Netflix ultimately then made the decision to buy the rights to the show and create an American version of House of Cards. But that's not where the analytics ended. Applying this logic to Netflix involves, as previously mentioned, understanding the user as a data generator. The 81 million subscribers worldwide, according to 2016 IT data, represent 125 million viewing hours per day. They acquire such magnitude within the company that it goes beyond the merely quantitative. In practice, each of these hours consumed by means of a device connected to the internet streaming is linked to individual information batches which, when controlled and analyzed, help Netflix to understand its niche and identify its goals. All this allow them to design a flow of data management processes in accordance with their aspiration. There are two challenges Netflix have to face. Number one, maintaining new subscriber growth. New subscriber growth is still an obsess over data point for Netflix investor, and it could remain within as Netflix continues its its aggressive change into international market. Subscriber growth is a hard to forecast metric because of the number of relative new Netflix markets, as well as its reliance on the viral success of its shows. Number two is rising content cost. 
The potential for higher content costs was demonstrated recently by the 100 million that Netflix reportedly paid to renew its licensing of Friends through the end of 2019, up from the 30 million it had paid previously. But in not just creating or acquiring content that requires major bug to execute, it also making sure that the content gets in. As Netflix extends its international expansion next year, the cost of launching and marketing content could also rise. Framework. This show flowing the framework of Netflix included content, Netflix tag, distribution and playback. Suggestion to improve. The first suggestion is creating a personalized streaming experience which is to improve the experience for the user preference. Second suggestion is optimizing content catching. The key idea here is to locate the content closer to provide a great experience. Thirdly, is improving content quality that is another approach to improve user experience, which is Netflix receive content from the studio in the form of digital assets that are then encoded and a quality check before they go live on the content servers. Main challenges to implement big data analytics in Netflix. First is poor quality data that cause of inaccurate data is manual errors made during data entry. This can lead to significant negative consequences if the analysis, analysis is used to influence decision. Second, challenge is budget. Risk managers can secure, secure budget for data analytics by measuring the return on investment of a system and making a strong business case for the benefit it will achieve.